Hello Earth! Today I present you Christopher Gibson magnetic motor. This one is really really simple and I think that it could even work. So let's get to the drawings and see why. Okay, so let's turn it a little bit around that you see this simple, simple magnetic motor. I think it, it is the most simple I have ever seen and it is really possible that this could work if this magnetic shielding, this in between, this yellow part actually works how it's, how it's imagined. Yeah? And, and let me start from the beginning. So, so this component over here, you know from my other videos, is standard electrical generator which will, through this gear mechanism, get the free energy from the magnetic motor. Yeah? So that's the start. And then let's des describe this magnet motor from the beginning. You can see in the middle there is a rotor and outside there is a stator fixed on this support. Yeah? And how this supposed to work? So let me turn it from the above that it's m much more visible. Uh, so you can see there are five stator magnets and four rotor magnets. As you can see, in between we have magnetic shielding material, which is actually mu metal. I think I mentioned that in my some of my videos, and I will make even separate video about this mu metal to explain it a little bit more. It's an alloy of uh, al um, nickel, steel, and copper, and some other materials. And let's see. So if you can see, at, uh, in one in one exact moment, only one magnet can repel each other from the stator. Yeah? So, so rotor will repel each other because you can see the like poles are faced each other and the rotor magnet will repel itself from the stator magnet. And this will be possible not to stop because we have the mu metal material between which will block that uh, this uh, rotation stops. And this is the whole idea, this is the simplest uh, motor I have ever seen. And really, I think this could work if this magnetic shielding uh, it's, uh, really works how it's uh, imagined. Then uh, you can see there are also some screws here on the stator magnets and on the rotor magnets so that they can be adjusted, to, to precisely adjusted, that they can uh, really avoid opposing magnetic fields which could sneak through these holes. But basically this is it. I'll now put a little bit in the x-ray that you see uh, the see-through model. So if you see on the on the bottom on, on, on the bottom of this uh, housing, uh, it's just um, one uh, bearing. And uh, if I turn it up, uh, so this is it. And this is where is mounted the rotor in the middle part. And there is a stator housing and on this is mounted the stator. Yeah? If I unhide, hide a little bit you can see there is another stator on the on the top yeah, so this is stator housing from the top because these magnets are you can see there are some you will see now there are some screws yeah from from these magnets that they can be adjusted yeah so these holes are used for adjusting the magnets um, or let's say to the tuning of the generator and this is it, yeah? no hi hidden other parts is uh, present here, even simple motor to experiment if it works at home. But what you will have to find is this mu metal uh, plate in, in the middle, if I hide this, if I isolate this one more time. So this is the key is in the mu metal, yeah? how to get this material in the, um, that actually you experiment if this could work. And this is it. All right, yours. So you saw that was Christopher Gibson magnetic motor. Yeah, I think that maybe it could even work if this magnetic shielding material, so mu metal, really shields the opposing magnetic field in that measure that uh, we could overcome the effect of returning or stopping the magnets. So if anybody has uh, free time and uh, it has mu metal available at his house, please do try, and I will post your video even on my channel if you succeed. So until next video, stay tuned on my channel.